Clement Clark Moore. In 1822, Clement Clark Moore wrote the poem, "'Twas the Night Before Christmas for His Children." It is now the tradition for many American families to read this poem on Christmas Eve. was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were sleeping all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled in for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. When what to my eyes should there appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. He shouted and called all by name, now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. So up to the housetop they flew, a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. As I drew on my head and was turning around, down through the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from head to his foot. His clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler opening his sack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. Laying his finger aside of his nose, gave a nod, and up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. I heard him exclaim as he flew out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.